Hey everybody, welcome back to GL Spinners. Uh, bringing you a new video today, and it's going to be the first in a new series of videos. I'm going to start making a new spinner day video, kind of a mail day thing. I've got a few spinners on order and even some more on pre-order, so I figured I could use this time to give you a quick overview and kind of a demo of each spinner. Um, as you can see, I've already unboxed these. Um, I'm not big on watching someone cut open cardboard, but I am interested in seeing the tins they're actually shipped in. This order, it came from Spinetic Spinners. I'll have the link down in the description below. Um, and we'll go ahead and take a look at the one on the right first. This is the Spinergy Spinner in matte. It was about $33 and it weighs about 99 grams made out of steel. This is a larger spinner. Um, you can see here I have pretty large hands and it fills up most of my fingers, but it has an incredibly smooth spin. I did cheat on this one. I actually took it out of the box early and did a table spin on it and I got more than six minutes on a table spin. So you can see here this one is a tri-arm spinner. It's kind of got a windmill shape, which matches that wind button. And like I said, this thing has an incredibly smooth horizontal spin. Um, that wind button, there's no real grip on it, but it is concave, so it does give you a good feel. One drawback I've noticed so far is it is a little bit thicker than the normal spinners, and it also has some feedback and a little bit of metallic noise when you spin it vertically. Um, nothing super annoying, but compared to how smooth it is on the vertical spin, it is something to point out, and it's something that I noticed just immediately out of the box on it. Um, overall, like I said, I'm pretty impressed with it so far. It's a great price. It's got nice rounded edges and feels really good in hand. So that's the Spinergy Spinner from Spinetic. I'll go ahead and show you the next one I've got. Everyone's probably going to recognize this tin. It is the Spinetic Y in copper. So I already have a Y. Um, a lot of people are like, well, why would you buy another spinner? I'm a collector and in looking at it, this is the same as the other Y that I already have. No different except the metal. And part of the reason was is that this finished out my collection. I kind of went for what I consider the base rainbow from Spinetic. And you can see here, I've got the Y in copper, Y in stainless steel, the X in brass, and the X in black. Um, I really like all these spinners. Um, Spinetic is a really cool company and they've made some great products. There are a couple of limited editions in the X that I don't have media blasted and different designs, but I consider this kind of the base rainbow and I was it's one of those things where I had to go ahead and complete the collection on it. Um, I'll give them all a quick spin here in the video at this point. Like I said, just uh, trying out a new idea to give you a kind of a new spinner every day type of thing. Uh, not an overall review, but just give you an idea. Let me know what you think about it. Um, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment. Subscribe if you're looking for new spinner videos. I'm coming out with more each and every day. So everybody have a good one.